every Cataclysm song has a song about revenge. Um, this is a song um, that I, I wrote uh, because there's things in life that, um, you know, I'm not the type of guy that, uh, you know, that gets a slap in the face and I turn the other cheek. I don't believe in that too much. I believe in, uh, you know, um, you're coming for me, you better get me. If you don't get me, I'm coming for you, you know. I'm, I'm a believer in that, uh, that quote. And, uh, the song, The Promise, uh, you know, I've made a couple of promises in my life. I've kept most of them. Um, I'm still working on the others and uh, some people are... <laughs> some people will see soon about that. But uh, just I gotta say that uh, it, it's, 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 it's something that uh, it's a personal uh, track again. Um, you know, I'm like everybody else out there, man. Uh, I, you know, I started off as a fan. I'm still a fan. I used to go to concerts. I still go to concerts. Uh, and and um, you know, many times I got the opportunity to be, you know, have these VIP tickets to be got backstage with the bands because I know most of them. But I'm always in the front and watching because I think that's the best spot to be. And um, I think that um, I'll never change that realness about me. And uh, in this world, there's a lot of people that uh, don't like that. Um, type of thing right so uh, I think that the way I think a lot of my fans think the same way and uh, I don't like to say fans uh, it's more like friends that, that buy my records right we see the same type of things and I think that's important and, and the, the, I am just like everybody else so I guess that we have this connection with the lyrics uh, people can relate to them you know so the promise um, make sure when you do one you keep it it's very important That's the song that uh, is like a right jab, you know, just that like comes out, boom, you know, hits you. Um, Empire Dirt um, is a song I, I wrote um, about this stuff, these things that are happening in the Middle East. Um, it's it's uh, very uh, unfortunate uh, scenarios that are happening, but I'm very happy that they're happening, especially the ones where the people, the young kids are rebelling, you know. Uh, I got so many fans writing me from Egypt, uh, even from Iran and all these countries that would love for Cataclysm to, to have a chance one day to see it. You know, they, they, they have to hide the fact that they like metal, they, they, um, they want, they, you, know, their, you know, their voices is, are unheard, you know, and uh, I think that sucks. And, and we're very privileged to be able to have our freedoms, you know, and I think that these countries uh, are trying, to, you know, the youth is trying to break out of that. Uh, chokehold that the governments have on them or, or they, they impose the fact that they shouldn't you know be on the internet they shouldn't be doing this and that or listening to metal because it's the devil's music or whatever you know so I tell them like you know look God's busy and then it's what maybe I can help you <laughs> but uh, no like uh, bottom line is this the songs is directed to um, those people that choke and put those chains uh, in freedom and uh, uh, Empire of Dirt is, is, is uh, you know, talking about those people that control all these kids, but in the end they don't really have anything in their hands. It's just dirt because the people are, you know, in the end will rise. You know, so I think that's a very uh, strong uh, song for me. I, I wanted to write something about that. You know. It's the video clip that uh, we're going to release, I think, in a few weeks uh, or a week. I'm not sure exactly uh, when they're going to want to decide to release this, but the video is uh, incredible. Um, I'm very happy with it. I just saw it today, and uh, I think it's going to be a really cool um, um, video when it, when it comes out. People are going to be very impressed. Uh, we always try to give 100% for our fans and try to give them something visual that they've never seen before, so I think they're going to be impressed uh, with it. Uh, the song. Uh, deals with the artwork. Uh, if you look at the artwork, that's what's done by Peter Salai uh, with the, um, uh, the, the the Reaper that comes in to uh, claim the child, uh, the, the little child's life, which represents humanity. 
uh, the blood on the children represents his, his uh, lifehood, you know, like the sins or, you know, his hardships or whatever. Um, so it's, it's kind of a, um, a really cool uh, way of, of uh, descri describing uh, mortality, I think, and, the, and that, that is nobody can, when it comes for you, it's going to come get you, you know, and that's, and that's it. So there's no escaping it. Uh, we're, we're all equal on the face of death, you know, so it's like uh, um, elevate is, is uh, that transition uh, between uh, living and dying, you know, so it's, it's, uh, it's a very, very strong song. I like it a lot. I think many people will dig it if you dig Cataclysm. This is one of those songs where uh, it will go hand in hand uh, with things that you like, but it's got hooks that we've never done before. Incredible uh, riffs. JF has not done himself on this album, you know. So um, Elevate uh, deals with that factor. So we're bringing the artwork to life uh, on that song, uh, on a video clip, and uh, it, it deals with mortality, like the whole record does, uh, deals with uh, questioning ourselves and how we see life and death, you know. So that's pretty much uh, the concept of uh, this record, uh, for waiting for the end to come. Um, in these times and days and that we're living, I think it's a great title that uh, many people are wondering where we're going on Earth and what's doing. Uh, I still am a positive person and believe that there's always a way to um, to um, get better and uh, make ourselves worth uh, uh, while on this earth. We all have a place, you know. But uh, waiting for the end to come. We're all doing it. We're all waiting. The moment that uh, we are born, like I said before, we start dying. So we are waiting for the end to come slowly. <laughs> On the deluxe edition, we have uh, done something special. Cataclysm has never done a cover song before. This is the first time ever we've decided to do it. Um, looking at the, the way uh, the economies and everything that's going on uh, in the world today, um, we decided to uh, do a song that uh, I grew up loving when I was a kid. Uh, I, you know, not that I was that young, but I was um, exploring thrash metal and I was a big fan of Sacred Reich and uh, we decided to do a, a cover of the song The American Way. Um, it's, I used to love that song, it's simple but it's so awesome. So we decided to do it in the Cataclysm version. Um, we didn't change it too much, I don't believe in changing covers. Uh, if you're doing a cover, you do a cover. Uh, but we did it in our style, so you know, it's Cataclysm, you know. Um, if you guys like it, we will play it live, so we leave it up to you guys to uh, decide that. But uh, we are uh, very happy with this record. Uh, it's been a long time coming. Um, we, we've uh, worked uh, so many years uh, in our lives uh, doing the best we could, but this record, I think, you know, these three and a half years that have passed have given us a lot of inspiration to do it. Uh, to do what the record we needed to do um, in light of some of the hardships we are still going through uh, with our lineup and everything at the moment. But uh, you know, what you see uh, is a band that's gonna you know, rise up and above everything again, and uh, you're, you're gonna have the record that you've been waiting for. Um, so I hope that we get your support. I'm not gonna beg you for anything. What I want you to do is to uh, buy a record, buy a shirt, buy anything so that we can continue to come see you live, shake your hands and headbang with you uh, and enjoy um, the thing that we all cherish the most. Metal, freedom, beer, booze and just a good time. So um, I, I uh, leave you with this and um, I'll see you on the road. Look into these eyes.